For the past few months, we have ran our first ever season of player choice, an idea that I cobbled together with my friends ModLAI to have you, the AI and games community, have a say in what you think the best game is for a given topic or concept. Our first season was all about the best AI in a first person shooter, an idea that originally cropped up last year as I asked the YouTube audience what their thoughts were on the subject. So the idea came about that we would whittle down the list of over 50 games mentioned to 32 and then allow for the audience to vote in each elimination round as to which game deserved to make it through. The idea was to focus on what makes the quality of the AI itself interesting for gameplay purposes. But of course, I was curious to see which games people rally to defend regardless of how good or smart the AI winds up being. Call me insidious, but there was something of a behavioural experiment running on my part. And so since February of this year we've been running elimination rounds to knock games out repeatedly until we reach the final. Admittedly this has gone on much longer than planned, I had hoped to wrap this up by early summer, but trying to run a streaming elimination series alongside videos and running an actual business has proven to be more than I could manage effectively, so some lessons have been learned for sure for a possible second iteration. But after 36,000 votes across both of the conferences we saw many a popular game be eliminated including entries from the likes of the Bioshock franchise, not to mention Doom, Halo, Titanfall, Far Cry, Fear and more, and it led us to our finale with two rather different games standing toe to toe to vie for your chosen favourite. Our first finalist was Half-Life 2, arguably one of the most beloved games of all time. Valve's 2004 title helped define a lot of what we see in contemporary shooter design, ranging from encounters, varied enemy types, companion AI and much more. We mile stacked up against it was Prey, Arcane's oppressive stealth shooter from 2017 that forces players to think strategically about the use of the resources in each and every combat encounter, and critically, whether you really want to drink that cup of coffee you've just made, it might just try and kill you. We ran voting for a couple of weeks, and having ran up over 2200 votes, we have our winner. With 56.2% of the vote, Prey has been voted as the AI in games audience's best AI in a first person shooter. Congratulations to developers Arcane, who of course have been holding on with dear life to find out the result, and of course to all you Prey fans out there. Meanwhile I'm currently halfway through my first playthrough and good lord, I feel like I'm taking forever to do stuff that most players will speed through in half the time. Am I getting old? No, surely not. Interestingly, both of our finalists have never appeared in an actual episode of AI in games. While we have covered the first Half-Life game in AI 101, I've yet to explore any of Arcane's games. I'll be looking to see if we can add these to the AI and game series in due course. But on top of all this, there were two other rounds of voting running in parallel. First of all, our crowdfunding community have been voting in the Discord server, voting for which games they thought should progress. While they largely adhered to the public vote in the UAC conference, the UNSC conference was a different beast with games like Titanfall 2 reaching the quarterfinals and both of the public finalists being eliminated by their quarterfinal. You can watch the full breakdown in our recent live stream here on AI and Games Plus, but it leads to an exciting Fear vs Left 4 Dead 2 finale. I'll leave the result a mystery for you to go and find out yourself. Meanwhile, after the dust had settled, I wanted to have my say as well. Naturally, I am but another opinionated old white man on the internet, but given I've spent nine years, good lord, analysing the AI of games, I figured I have a horse in this race. I think it's safe to say my breakdown is a little more contentious, as I managed to eliminate both of the public finalists in the very first round, and found myself repeatedly advocating for the Halo franchise, which came as a bit of a surprise even to myself, to be honest with you. Quake against Halo 2, I had to keep with Halo 2. Halo 2 for me is still very, very important in terms of the value that it brings to the kind of AI community, uh, pretty much what we now call behaviour trees for AI in video games doesn't exist without Halo 2, quite frankly. And I think when you compare the two of them, I think the AI in Halo 2 is frankly better. Once again, go and check out the recent finale livestream to find out which game I voted as the best of the series. I went out of my way to defend each and every decision I made, and as such my opinions are ironclad and immune to criticism. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm sure many of you will disagree with me, and that's perfectly fine. That was the point of this whole exercise. That's the end of player choice for now, but I'm keen to hear of other showdowns we could run, and opinions and thoughts you have on the process. For sure, if we run it again, it's going to be much faster. 
Thanks once again to everyone who participated, from voting in our polls to sharing your opinions on each game, hanging out on the live streams, and of course to Model AI who supported me in running this crazy little idea. It's been a fun process and I hope you enjoyed it, regardless of whether your choice came through as the winner. Mm -hmm.